Bruno Fernandes has been the catalyst behind Man United's revival, transforming the club from his very first game. Let's analyse his game and see what makes him so good. Bruno has an incredibly modern skill set and a very wide range of strengths. Despite being a midfielder, Bruno has the output of an elite striker. Unlike most players, he has actually improved his end product after moving from the Portuguese league. Bruno is the only player to have scored at least 10 goals and made at least 10 assists in each of the last three league seasons. An underrated strength is his off-ball movement. His aggression in attacking spaces without the ball means he's always in dangerous positions in the box. Bruno's ability to progress the ball is among the best in the world, with his vision and technique helping him execute some very tricky passes. It is arguably the most underrated part of his game too, considering just how good he is. Bruno has some incredible passing numbers at club level. More often than not, he drives United forward, almost entirely by himself, regardless of opponents. Bruno, along with Kevin De Bruyne, is the best in the Premier League when it comes to progressing the ball. The two talismanic Manchester midfielders are different, yet so similar, acting as all-action passing hubs in their own ways. On top of build-up passing, Bruno is also incredible in the final third. His awareness and ability to spot runners means United are always threatening, regardless of whether they're playing on the counter or dominating the ball. His numbers are predictably excellent, ranking among the very best players for all creative metrics. With Ronaldo's arrival, it should improve even further. Bruno's arsenal of passes is mind-blowing. His ability to create favourable situations out of thin air is very unique. Bruno's passing creates chaos, and chaos is exactly where he and Man United thrive. Bruno is also a strong set-piece taker from both sides, with his ability to strike the ball cleanly, helping him find the likes of Maguire with ease. Bruno's set-pieces have created numerous chances for Man United, even if they haven't always been converted. All said and done, this is another statistical category where he shines. For more in-depth analysis like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Football Per 90. Like Jorginho, Bruno has also mastered the art of hop-skip-jump penalty technique. His calmness under pressure and the technical ability to wait until the last second means goalkeepers are always at a disadvantage against him. Players typically convert penalties at a rate of 75%. Bruno is at 93, despite his recent miss against Aston Villa. Bruno is arguably the humblest superstar in football right now. Most players as good as Bruno don't bother with defending as their primary focus is on passing, scoring and assisting. They leave the hard work to their teammates and conserve their energy for the final third. Not Bruno. In terms of defensive activity, there is no elite attacking midfielder as good as Bruno. His defensive graft is almost unseen among world-class players. Bruno's defensive work simply cannot be praised enough. He is always there for his teammates without the ball and often sets the tempo for United's pressing. Bruno is the perfect mix of offensive swagger and defensive humility. Bruno is an Iron Man in terms of fitness. In his entire career, he has only missed one game due to injury. There are a lot of things that make Bruno remarkable. His willingness to push on is one of them. Bruno has virtually no weaknesses in his game, except for his dribbling. Bruno is not a great dribbler, despite his sharp passing technique and creativity. More often than not, he thinks too fast and ends up losing the ball. In some cases, his close control is simply not up to the desired level. The numbers bear out Bruno's dribbling weakness as well. He does not attempt enough dribbles, and when he does, he's not very successful. All said and done, Bruno is one of the five or six best players in the league, along with the likes of Salha, De Bruyne, Kane and Ronaldo. His incredibly unique skill set and ability to be effective in different circumstances make him a bona fide superstar. Among attacking midfielders, De Bruyne is the only player who is even nearly as good as Bruno. The two are world-class playmakers who influence their teams in a wide variety of ways. Bruno's presence with Ronaldo will make an explosive duo for United. 
Ronaldo's goal scoring and presence in the box, Sancho's skill, flair and creativity, and Rashford's all-round excellence makes United a scary team to play against, especially on the counter. What's more, there are also Greenwood and Rashford waiting to make an impact off the bench. With the level of quality around him, don't be surprised to see the Portuguese maestro get even better. OK, to summarise then, Bruno has incredible end product, as well as exceptional, progressive passing. He has an excellent final ball and is threatening in set pieces. He takes impeccable penalties, is amazing in terms of defensive intensity and has an Iron Man-esque availability. However, he does have that loose dribbling technique. That brings us to the end of this video, a thorough top to bottom look of Bruno Fernandes, one of the world's best midfielders. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe to Football Per 90 for more in-depth analysis like this. Until next time, goodbye.